Hey everybody, what's going on? No arrows once again. And uh, today I'm going to be looking at Clean Room, a Vertigo comic. Uh, Vertigo has been putting out all kinds of new books lately. Uh, at the end of last year they had a real big push. And now is about the time when all the trades are starting to come out. So this is the first one I'm going to look at. I read a couple more and a couple others already. And I, I don't know, I, I didn't want to review them really because I figured... You know, quite honestly, they were kind of boring. I didn't really have a lot to say about them. Unfollow was one of them. And, uh, but uh, this one, there is definitely a lot to talk about. It's it's by Gail Simone and John Davis Hunt. And it's sort of a riff on Scientology. Uh, basically, at the center of this book is this, is this uh, new religion, we'll say, or to be less politically correct, a cult, and uh, it's kind of it, it was started by rather than a guy who was a science fiction author, it started by a woman who was a horror horror author, and uh, it's kind of the same deal as Scientology. Like they they're very secretive. They reveal information in tiers, like based on you know how uh, high ranking a member you are. And uh, basically, it's about this uh, woman who, whose husband was a member of this. Uh, that that's the that's the woman there who founded the the uh, church. All right, it's not really a church. It's kind of just like a. It's like a weird sort of like. I don't know. I don't know what I how I describe it, but. It's it's church-like. Anyways, it's about this woman who whose husband was a member of the church, and then he abruptly killed himself. And so she's a reporter, and she's trying to get to the bottom of, you know, she's trying to infiltrate this church and figure out, or whatever, and, and figure out what the deal is and uh, unravel its mysteries. And uh, there are a lot of mysteries it's a really, uh, you know, it's a, it takes on a, a, it's a very, like, horror-based comic. There's, like, some sci-fi elements to it, uh, some really creepy moments, and it's very surreal, too, in, like, a high-concept way. It reminds me of something uh, Warren Ellis would write, and, I mean, I haven't read a whole bunch of Gail Simone's stuff, you know, but I never really knew she was, you know, I didn't know she had this kind of story with her, within her. But, uh, yeah, it's very surreal, very, very much a, um, a, like I said, a very, like, high concept and kind of brainy sci-fi horror comic. And, uh, I just kind of, yeah... It's not the kind of thing I really associate with her, you know. I, but uh, and I, I was pleasantly surprised by that, you know. It, it uh, the characterizations are good. Uh, I, I'm I'm more used to her as being like a good character writer, like somebody who kind of focuses on that aspect. And uh, you do see uh, Simone's signature kind of. You see. Like, I, again, I haven't read that much of her, her stuff, so I don't really know if I should be calling that her signature style. But, I like, there is a lot of, of that in it. Like, you know, she she writes strong characters in this book, and, you know, most of them are, are strong female characters. And, I mean, at least one is, is confirmed to be a lesbian at this point. You know, it's, 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 it's up to that... Up to that point, it's within what I expect from Simone. But then it's just like, from there, it's just like classic Vertigo. It's very, uh, you know, yeah, it's it's like surreal horror in, in a way of like, uh, another good comparison would be something like Alan Moore's Swamp Thing in, in its early, early, uh, in the early point of his run, or Something like Sandman, even early on in game in the Sandman run, it's very, uh, 
you know, it, it's dark and there's, you know, uh, don't don't show your kids that. That didn't happen. You didn't see that here. Um. Anyways, yeah, I mean, this is 100% vertigo. Like, I feel like Simone was like, she was like, okay. If I'm gonna do a Vertigo comic, I'm gonna do a, or if I'm gonna do a comic for Vertigo, I'm gonna do a Vertigo comic, but I'm gonna make it a Simone comic as well. And it's like at, at times the t the two styles, or what I perceive to be the two styles, kind of clash. But for the most part, it works really well. She's really good at doing like the Vertigo stuff in a way I didn't expect, or the you know the hardcore you know classic you know. Uh, Vertigo style in a in a good way. She's really good at that, and she's really good at her style. And where they meet, it occasionally there's some bumping and, and scraping, but it's for the most part really cool. And uh, it it ends on like a nice uh, it ends on an interesting note with a a lot of potential for further volumes. And uh, there are a ton of questions, uh, as I previously alluded to. And there's, you know, some more of that. Oh my God! Just don't, don't even look at it. I think, I think the glare covered up the glare from the sun. There kind of covered up most of the questionable content on that page. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, enough about that. The art is pretty good. Uh. Occasionally it looks kind of amateur, but it has like a a really clean and uh, detailed style, which uh, which is which is really creepy in some of the scenes and it it and the uh, kind of uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here the kind of unpolishedness of it uh, is you know. It, it, it uh it lends it without spoiling too much it kind of like uh adds an interesting contrast to this comic's concept of the clean room which i mean you'll find out about what the clean room is once you get in here and start reading it and i do recommend you read it cuz uh i was pretty into it i i was pretty into this comic That's the uh, the reporter woman, by the way. And yeah, you got some art in the back here. Got an ad for Hellblazer and all that. They're re relaunching Preacher, I guess. Or not relaunching, but they're reprinting it. I don't know why they don't just hurry up. They're they're doing the absolutes, absolute editions. But what they really need to do is uh like they did they did with their hundred bullets reprints where they like took three trades and put them in one volume and they just like they reissued them that way there's like five i think it's like five a hundred bullets volumes now that just have three of the old arcs old trades packed into one and there's five of each of those they need to do that with all their series like it's so inexpensive and it's so easy to go back and and uh, repurchase because like I, I I have like I mean my my collection of preacher just sucks it's like different you know because it's been reprinted multiple times in different formats I, I just have like whatever all over the place same with my transmet collection I don't even have like all of transmet in trades I have like an arc there of here of floppies and then I'll have a trade and then I'll have another arc in floppies it's just like my collection is just such a shit fest I just need I need like a good reprint series done right now, and that's it. I don't know. I don't know when I stopped talking about the clean room there, but uh, anyways, this is a pretty good comic. Uh, I just um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, this is a pretty good comic. I definitely recommend reading it if you're into like if you want to read horror based around a cult. Which which is something that isn't done enough, and uh, 
if that sounds like your deal, check it out. It, it's it's Gail Simone, so I'm sure like, I mean, this comic isn't a big seller, but I'm sure like it'll be around for a while just because it's Gail Simone and she's you know a, a DC standby. Like I'm sure you'll get at least like. Like you shouldn't worry about jumping on here because the story should conclude. It should last for a while longer. So that that's kind of the worry I have with a lot of Vertigo's new series. Like a lot of the new books they've started up mm. over the past five years have ended after like two or three trades, and it's just like I don't know. But you can feel safe with this one. So yeah, check it out. <laughs> 